Both rejoin EU. Both rejoin EU. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brendan Donnelly. I'm the leader of the Rejoin EU party. And today I'm going to answer some of the questions put to us by people who've consulted our website. Kath, for instance, wants to know what the Rejoin EU party thinks about proportional representation. And certainly we're very favourably disposed to it. Not necessarily because proportional representation is a perfect system. No electoral system is perfect. It has its advantages and its disadvantages. But we've come to the conclusion, I certainly have in recent years, that first past the post is a major factor in the distinct functionality of current British political culture. The great example of that is um, the referendum in 2016. It was carried out by a government that uh, got a majority with 36.8% of the votes cast in 2015. And the holding of the referendum was not even something that was unanimously wished for within the Conservative Party. It was simply a way, as David Cameron saw it, of putting a, a, a lid uh, on the internal machinations of the Eurosceptics within his own party. It was a plan that blew up in his own face. We think that proportional representation would have made it impossible for such a freakish outcome to be visited upon the United Kingdom. So we're hoping very much that after 2024, um, the Labour Party in particular, and also the Liberal Democrats, um, will revert to the interests that they've shown in the past in changing the electoral system. We think that once the United Kingdom is back in the, in the European Union, as we're confident it will be, a proportional representation, a system of proportional representation, will make it more difficult for the United Kingdom to leave the the European Union uh, in a fit of absent-mindedness. And we also think that the introduction of PR will be a reassurance to our continental partners, uh, the rest of the EU, that once back in the European Union, we wouldn't storm out again in four years when another Conservative Party came to be elected. So it's a thumbs up from us to proportional representation. Alan asks whether joining Horizon and joining Erasmus and joining individual programmes within the European Union's orbit would be a way of gradually easing the United Kingdom back into the European Union. Uh, I have to say I and the party are, are sceptical about that. There's nothing wrong with joining Horizon, nothing wrong with joining Erasmus, but certainly joining programmes of the European Union is not going to bring about a, a rejoining of the European Union. There are many outside countries that are not in the European Union which participate in European programmes, um, and it very much um, uh, is a, an outer level of relationship. It's a better relationship than the one that we have at the moment, which has been exacerbated by the virulent Euroscepticism of the Conservative Party. But it's not something that is going to make a, a serious contribution to rejoining. There are people who think that rejoin, that joining the single market or the customs union um, might be a, a, a stepping stone to rejoining the European Union. Uh, once again, I, I have my doubts. Uh, I'm not sure at all that that cherry picking will really contribute to rejoining the European Union. Um, and it may create in our partners the idea that we, uh, the United Kingdom, don't wish to be full hearted members of the European community of the European um, identity. We just want to take what suits us uh, and take a bit here, a bit there, and leave the rest. Uh, I think that if we want to rejoin the European Union, we'll only do so on the basis of the argument being made that the European Union is a, a, a good thing, an overwhelmingly good thing, uh, in which by ties of history and culture and, and politics, um, the United Kingdom uh, is, is essentially a part, uh, and that it was a, an anomaly uh, to attempt to sever ourselves from our European identity in 2016. So we're not against attempting to participate in, in Horizon and Rasmus and other programmes. Uh, it might even be that joining the single market, if it were explicitly part of a programme for rejoining the European Union, could have a role to play. But I think that it will be very difficult uh, to persuade the people of this country to be rule takers within the single market for any length of time. It's only by being, a, a, once again, a member of the European Union um, that we'll be able to play a full and coherent part within the internal market. The third question that I'd like to address is one which has been put by a number of people on our website. Um, what we see as being the timeline for rejoining the European Union. Personally, I don't think there's going to be a, a great deal of development on that front until the next general election. Uh, I think the main parties have um, 
painted themselves into a position where they can't say anything particularly useful or progressive on the subject of the European Union. Once the election is out of the way, and almost certainly a Labour government has been elected, I think things will change. And I think that will change radically the prospects of the rejoining EU party. It's a staggering thing that with no major party advocating or pressing for reform, Nevertheless, opinion polls show that many, many people in this country, and an overwhelming majority, now regard Brexit as a mistake and, and want it to undone. And I think the rejoin EU party in the next, ele in next electoral cycle, um, after the next general election, will very much be playing into a, a melody um, which is already being played by, by events and of which people are becoming more and more aware. Labour Party have said they want to stress economic growth in their period in office. Well, the obvious way to favour that, the way that we can bring about as a country uh, by our own decision, is to rejoin the single market at least, and in the not-too-distant future, rejoin the European Union. It's a self-inflicted economic wound that we don't have to live with indefinitely. I suspect that towards the end of the next parliamentary period, 2028-2029, there will be serious discussion uh, about what should figure in the manifestos of the major parties for that next general election, and Europe will then be an issue. And it won't just be uh, an internal issue, it will be something forced upon the government by economic circumstances. They're going to inherit a very, very damaging and dangerous economic situation. Um, and it seems utterly perverse that they should have ruled out um, something which can so easily bring about uh, a, a radical and sudden improvement in the United Kingdom's economic uh, um, fortunes. So rejoining EU party will be looking to field candidates in the general election probably mostly in safe seats for Labour or safe seats for the Conservatives. Um, but our time, I think, will come after that. And if we end up paradoxically being a mirror image of UKIP, uh, of exercising influence on other parties to become more pro-European, then that will be a, an irony of history. But the European saga in this country is is full of ironies, um, and the rejoined EU party is perfectly happy to be one of them if it leads back to our rejoining the European Union where we belong. We are pleased to announce we have now hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. That means you can now help the party by becoming a member of Rejoins Maverick Club. For now, that gives you exclusive emojis, photos and status updates, early access to new videos, member shout-outs and priority replies to comments. Vote Rejoin EU. Join the EU vision.